Hi, I'm Dr. Bill. I'm an astrophysicist, and I want to measure the mass of the Earth without going outside. Well, how am I going to do that? Well, you use the orbit of the moon around the Earth. So here we have the Earth. And here's the moon going around it. And what we need is the size of the moon's orbit. Well, we call that distance from here out to the orbit, from the center of the Earth, A. And A is roughly 1 400th of an astronomical unit, because I know that the sun is 400 times further away than the moon, approximately. The other thing we need is the period of the orbit. Well, the moon goes around once a month, so I guess 1 12th of a year. So the period, 1 12th year. Now that's not quite right. Actually, the sidereal period of the moon, meaning the time it takes to make one complete orbit relative to the stars, is closer to 27.3 days, and that means that the period would be about 1 13th of a, uh, of a year. But let's just go with this. It's a it's close enough approximation. All right, well, how do we calculate the mass from these things here? Well, the Newton's form of the Kepler law uh, is that the mass of the central body, m, is given by the size of the orbit cubed divided by the period squared. Now, if we measure the size of the orbit in astronomical units, such as we have here, and the period in years, then the mass will come out to be in terms of the mass of the sun. So in other words, if the mass is one-fourth the mass of the sun, we'd come out with an answer of 0.25. Well, let's put our numbers in here and calculate. Well, uh, that's one four hundredth cubed divided by one twelve squared. Now, hopefully you all remember that one over one over x is x. So this is the same as 12 squared divided by 400 cubed. 12 squared is, remember your multiplication tables, all the way up to 12, 144. Okay, a little harder. What's 400 cubed? Well, 100 cubed would be 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, that'd be a million. And 4 cubed would be 4 times 4 is 16, 4 times 16 is 64, so 64 million. Now, if you divide that out, which I would probably use a calculator at this point, you get uh, 2.5 times 10 to the minus 6 solar masses. So, that is the mass of the Earth in terms of the mass of the Sun. But what is that really in terms of something like kilograms or something? Well. Uh, I would multiply this by the mass of the sun, because this is in units of mass of the sun. So the mass of the earth then is equal to, if I take 2.5 times 10 to the minus 6, excuse me, yes, and multiply the mass of the sun, which is 2 times 10 to the 30th kilograms, I get an answer of just about 5 times 10 to the 24th kilograms. And that is almost right. Mass of the Earth is a little bit more than that. It's about 5.9 times 10 to the 24th. But for this rough calculation, that's pretty good. Now, just before we leave this, another way of thinking about this is, you know, how massive is the Earth compared to the Sun the other way? Well, if you took one over this number here, you would get that the sun is 444,444 times more massive than the Earth. So in principle, this is the way we measure the mass of a planet, by using the moon going around it. If I wanted to measure the mass of Jupiter, I would use Jupiter's moons going around it. And if I wanted to measure the mass of Venus, I'm screwed because it doesn't have a satellite. And so indeed, until we sent our own satellites out there, our own probes, which went into orbit around Mercury and Venus, we didn't really know their masses very accurately.
Mr. Hand, if you please.